So what's going on everybody? So how's your wallet doing? We got all these sales. Just came out of the Kino Lorber's summer sale. Um, and I got my first box. Yeah, I've placed two orders. Um, I couldn't afford to get them all at once. So got one on one pay week, one another. This is the biggest one. Look at there. Come along with me and we're going to look and see what Kino titles I picked up during the sale. What are we waiting for? Let's go. So what's going on everybody we got a big box of goodies here i figured um a lot of the the youtubers participated from what i saw in the kino lorber sale um so i wanted to go ahead and also show you guys what i picked up so to start out um i picked up quite a few comedies you know we cover a lot of horror on the channel but i went ahead and picked up some comedies the first one is a movie that i own on dvd so this is an upgrade john cleese from monty python and clockwise it's got an audio commentary. Looks like it's got some um, featurettes and stuff like that. It's from 1986, 96 minutes. Haven't seen this thing in years, so that'll be a good, uh, almost like a first time watch. Uh, the next one is a movie that I really love, and this is upgrading from my old, I think, MGM DVD, Losing It, starring Shelley Long and Tom Cruise. Um, Jackie Earl Haley's in this. Uh, good J John Stockwell. A lot of good uh, good actors in this thing. So this is from 1983, 100 Minutes, rated R. So that's a good uh, comedy there. Um, the next one I picked up, I've never heard of this movie. Nancy Allen and David Naughton from, and uh, he's from uh, American World from London theme, not for publication. Got audio commentary, theatrical trailer from 1984, 88 minutes. So never seen that. Anybody seen it? Let me know what you think. In the comments down below here's a movie i've seen and this is another upgrade from dvd i got a lot of these because as you know they had a lot of five six seven dollar titles when they have a sale they really have a sale this is from 2000 um 91 minutes pg this isn't like i said one of those mgm titles it's the adventures of super dave osborne uh, movie i've never heard of again so i like getting those bow bridges and william devane in honky tonk freeway it's got a damn rhino on it reminds me of uh, uh hangover three when the giraffe got killed um 1981 107 minutes ready pg uh another movie never heard of the chicken chronicles starring introducing steve gutenberg so i guess is that his first film 1977 pg 94 minutes uh, aren't you glad it's almost summer it is damn summer with this heat we got here this is this a kino title yeah i guess it is doesn't have the normal logos on there um so yeah this is uh i don't even know what year it's from 1978 88 minutes so kind of cool uh the next movie i've seen but it's been a long time the wanderers it's got a great cast ken wall karen allen directed by philip kaufman this is from 79, 117 minutes, rated R. I think it's got two cuts of the movie on it as well. Um, from what I remember, it's got the 118-minute uh, the theatrical version and the early, the very rare 124-minute preview cut. So that'll be kind of cool. Um, Gator McCluskey would be proud of this one. I got Burt Reynolds and White Lightning. Burt Reynolds is Gator McCluskey in White Lightning. This is from 1973, 101 minutes PG. Um, this is a movie that I've seen, but this is, uh, I've only got, I think, a standard Blu-ray that was in a multi-pack set, and it had very little special features on it. This is a really good Clint Eastwood, I would say, slasher horror movie almost. Play Misty for me. He directed this as well, and it's got a ton of special features. It's from the year I was born, 1971, 102 minutes, rated R. Um, movie that I've been holding off. I wanted to get it, so I just waved it to the head. I had this sale, burnt offerings. Um, it's okay. I remember seeing it a long time ago from 1976. 116 minutes. 
one of those uh, horror movies kind of in line with uh, uh, Amityville Horror. Um, this is another one that I was going to get and just held off. So a lot of these I've been waiting to get on when they were on sale. The Pit, 1981, um, rated R. I think I saw this on Joe Bob Briggs' last drive-in theater. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. Um, the rest of these have slips, and some of them are 4Ks that I've been holding off on to the sale. Uh, this is one that I've really been wanting, and it's uh, it costs so much. I went ahead and waited until this sale to get it. And that's one of my favorite shows, and it inspired this hat that we have here. And it is Kolchak, The Night Stalker, the series. I've got the two movies, and I've got this on DVD, so I wanted to get this on Blu-ray. I say it inspired it. Dare McGavin is a reporter, kind of wears a similar hat to this not exactly and then i put the press on there because it reminded me of a uh, old 30s movie you know so i thought that was kind of cool so this has got uh this is from 1974 75 it says uh, 120 minutes total it's obviously framed for television a really good show if you haven't seen it i highly recommend it so then the next movie is speaking of the pit i got dead pit this is actually a code red title until I saw it on sale, I didn't even know that it was going to be part of this sale. So this is the last Blu-ray that I got. I went and got the uh, Hudson Hawk Special Edition from 9100 Minutes Rated R. I know a lot of people don't like this movie. I think it's pretty quirky. I've got it on DVD, so this will be an upgrade for me. Um, wait a minute, do I have this on Blu-ray? Is this part of the... I can't remember. Is that part of one of the Mill Creek series? Either way, it doesn't have all those special features on it, so... So the next three movies are going to be 4Ks that were really expensive, like on Amazon or whatever, and I just decided to pay, you know, during the sale to upgrade it. The first one is To Live and Die in L.A. This is uh, kind of timely. William Friedkin, uh, Friedkin that just died, the director of Exorcist, made this. Um, it also has William um, Peterson in it. Uh, it's called him William L. Peterson, you know, from CSI and Manhunter. Um, it's got a ton of special features on this thing. You know, this the original Blu-ray that was shot was like out of print and like it was going for a lot of money, so I was glad to get that. This is a movie that I wasn't going to get and I held off and I'm I went ahead and just pulled the trigger since it was on sale. Needful things. I have it on DVD. It's not one of my favorite Stephen King adaptations, but it's from '93. It's 120 minutes um, rated R, um, but I thought I would give it a chance again. And once again, it's got multiple cuts of the film, including a 191 minute TV cut. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. And then the last one is one of my guilty pleasures. It's a good movie, but um, I already own this on Blu-ray, so this is an upgrade to 4K, Dress to Kill. I love Dress to Kill. Um, this is one of my favorite um, Brian De Palma movies. I love uh, Blow Up with John Travolta. This has got Nancy Allen in it. She's in that as well. So, yeah, really looking forward to going back and watching that one. And I think I might have forgot to tell you, uh, to Live and Die in L.A. is 1985. It's 116 minutes rated R. So either way. So quite a bit in this haul. Blues, 4Ks, TV shows, everything. Got one code red title. So what did you pick up in the Kino sale? And like I said, uh, I got a few more titles coming. It's only going to be a handful. But I'll go ahead and do a video of that one when they show up. So um, put it in the comments down below while you're down there. Smash the like button. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all that normal YouTube stuff. Keep supporting me. I'll keep making great content. Anytime I get anything that I think is worth purchasing, I'll always show it on the channel. So then if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell. It'll let you know when I post new videos. So until next time, boys and girls, this has been JeffMan316, and I'm your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here?